Okay, so this is the deck assembly. You need to have printed out all the deck parts. This is the bit that you stand on. It's really just a glue job. So I'm just lining it up. See the tabs at the end? Those are what holds the rear mud guard in place. Make sure you've got it the right way up. Otherwise it's not going to work. So the tabs are sticking up. It's flat down on the deck with the tabs sticking up. And I'm just looking to place each part over the top and then just glue it with a lot of glue. Once this is all complete it's surprisingly quite strong. It has the protrusions in it, those connect onto the rods. It stops the deck moving forward and back when you're standing on it. That's me just gluing it on, lining it up, pushing it down, plenty of glue. Make sure it's right down. If you use the glue that's um, it's slightly rubberized, rather than just the thin super glue, then it, it, it'll hold a bit better. You want to make sure these are lined up properly as well. Put them all up, put them all in a row and make sure everything looks right and works right before attempting this. Because obviously once you start super gluing it, it's not going to unstick. You'll have to reprint the parts. So that's the first bit, which is the back bit towards the rear wheel. I'm just lining it up to see... Make sure I don't screw it up and put the wrong part in uh, where it's not supposed to go. So just checking, putting it down, just making sure. Get it all lined up, you need to do this on a really flat surface. I think just there I'm just running sand a lot, sandpaper along the edge just to make sure that it's, the edges are finished all right. Yeah, I think I decided that it was going to slip and move, move around, so I just put some tape underneath to make sure it doesn't. It is quite a slidey surface, the surface I'm doing this on. So I'm just pushing it together, making sure it's completely tight and aligned. And then it's back to the gluing the part down. And you do want to use plenty of glue. Don't be shy with the glue when you're doing this. I'm even gluing the seam as well. It's not bothered if the glue runs through it because grip tape's going on the other side anyway. So now with a bit of haste, 
a line in the second part. And obviously where the parts meet, where they, they protrude upwards, you want to put a bit on there if you can as well. Now for what's my final piece. Obviously if you want you can print these in as few pieces as possible to make it as strong as possible. So by all means if you've got a large print bed you could just do this in a couple of single parts or even just uh, one entire part if you want. I may have included these as singles or, or split in half or quarters just for different sizes of printer but I haven't got to that stage yet so I'll decide when I get there so that's me gluing the last piece right in there get it tight against each other and completely aligned If you want you could even use a 3D pen down the seams as well but I did that on a previous one and I had to sand it a bit it was just a bit annoying so I didn't bother this time so that's it so now that's the top part of the deck there which fits over the battery tray Now I'm going to put the grip tape on. The grip tapes, you can get it from eBay or wherever. I mean they're about five or six quid. Just for a plain black one. Or you can get one with logos and whatever on it. But I've got plain black so I was going to spray paint a logo on mine. So I'm just making sure that it's going to fit on. And there's no real secret to doing this. I cut mine to make it pretty much the correct size. Just, just so there's not a whole big bit at the end wasted because, you know, in future I might be able to use that along with another half of another old piece if need be. So I'm trying not to waste much. using a metal ruler be careful with this
just checking it fits all you need to do is peel the back off and be aware it's a really really sticky surface And you don't want to screw this up because you'll not get it back off. So align it as best you can. Take your time. Once it's on, flatten it down, smooth it out. If you go to the middle outwards or Go from one end and make sure you've got no air underneath it. It's pretty heavy so you shouldn't. Now I'm just going to take a screwdriver. I'm going to run it along the edge. This will help when I'm cutting it. So I'm just running it right round. Scraping it right against the side. It makes us a white line. Or just go around it, go around it a few times if you need to. Now I'm just going to cut out the holes at the front or the squares. There's also a little circular one for the wires. Looks like I'm starting at the edge. Just going around nice and slow. Get it right in. Angle the blade in.
Just going all the way around. This is me just cutting. Cutting the hole out. Just getting a little hole cut out for the wires. And that's pretty much it. There we go. Perfect. 